if you want to continually, you know, you want to continue living your life thinking that, oh, the, this, the, you know, the, the deep type stuff, the stuff that it even tells you in your Bible, the dark riches of mystical wisdom and knowledge, you, you want to continue thinking that, oh, that's something bad, then so be it. So be it. If, if you feel that getting to know yourself in the way that the, the most high or the supreme intelligence of this universe has made you to be, if you think that's bad, then you just continually live in your life the way that you always been living your life. But you have to ask yourself some questions and that's something that the church does not want you to do is ask questions. They do not want you to ask questions. You never asked who made the Bible. You never asked who in the hell is Jesus. You never asked where did Jesus come from? Where did these Bible scripts come from? How come the Bible scripts are no more than 2,000 to 1,500 years old, if even that, and that the scripts that you have are plagiarized from other scripts that aren't even the original. How is it that, you know, nobody had a perception of Christianity until European colonialism? How come our ancestors were living well off before they even knew the name Jesus? How is it that the perception of Christianity is no more than 2,000 years old, which is just a baby term? It's a baby number of years compared to the hundreds of thousands of years that we have been living. These are things that you have to ask yourself. Ask yourself about the perceptions around Christianity. How am I going to go to hell because I don't live this particular type of lifestyle or I don't believe this particular type of thing? These are things that you have to ask yourself. How is it that this person going to hell because he doesn't believe in Jesus, but he believes in another specific type of way of living, but his principles are just in the same alignment as mine? These are things that you have to ask yourself. And this is when you get into the perception of omniism. This is why I am the Omni is wrong. Omniism is when you study all aspects of truth. Because truth is not expressed in just one way. It's expressed in a variety of ways. So Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Confucianism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism, so on and so forth. You have these spiritual systems that are created in which people are trying to search for God. They don't realize that these are just different curriculums in which truth is expressed in order for you to know yourself. That's all it is. Me, Omnius is no more than being called a scientist. And I'm just studying different elements within the curriculum. But until next time, I'm Tyrone. Thank you for watching this video. Comment below about how you feel about what I say. If you like what I say, if you don't like what I say, let all that be known in the comment section below. Comment on this YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video with other people. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am out.